would like to talk about the legal situation in Germany. Uh, six different subtopics. The first one is a draft amendment of Gender Recognition Act by our Federal Ministry of the Interior. This draft amendment was was issued last May, that means in May 2019, and uh, by our very conservative Minister of Interior, who has no favor for transgender people and who wants to keep it all as it always was. Our Gender Recognition Act is from 1980, and it requires uh, two medical or psychological opinions and a court procedure and is a pretty expensive procedure for the applicant. So there are some minor changes now. Um, there is still a court procedure. There is no change so far. What has changed is that the transgender person may apply for change of first name and or change of sex entry into the civil status register. The transgender person may be an adult or a minor of at least 14 years old, but needs the approval of the parents or the guardian. If the minor is below 14 years old, only the guardian may file an application. And now, now it comes what is most important. The applicant needs a recent certificate of being transgender issued by a medical doctor, psychologist, psychotherapist with a special license. The rationale behind this is, according to the minister, prevention of misuse of this whole procedure. An option for the court is to order a hearing of the spouse if the applicant is living in a common household with the spouse. But that's only optional. If the first application to change first name or sex entry has not been successful, the transgender person may apply again after a lapse of three years. So this, this is the bottom line of this draft amendment. Now you, uh, I give you the current status. The bill has been withdrawn in September 2019 after protests of trans lobby groups, left-wing and liberal parties, including the Green Party, that is pretty powerful in Germany, as you may know. The go government, that means the Ministry of Interior and the Ministry of Justice, have announced to present a new draft amendment soon, probably after the summer break. As to my opinion, it is not very likely that our conservative minister of the interior will accept self-ID. However, we will have federal elections in the next year and our social democrat party is pretty weak according to the voters opinions and uh, if if the green party is uh, entering the government there, there might be a chance of self id but at the moment there is no chance of self id the next one I would like to talk about is the amendment to the civil registry law. That is quite interesting. The Federal Constitutional Court had in 2018 ordered the amendment of, no, in 2017, sorry, 
ordered the amendment of the civil registry law in order to abolish discrimination of intersex people. It has nothing to do with transgender so far. Gender recognition procedure for intersex persons is being handled by civil status registries, not by civil courts. In Germany, we have around 2,000 civil status registries located in the different 16 states. Intersex persons who want to change first name or sex entry, either male, female, or diverse, diverse is a third option, uh, intersex person, a biological intersex person who doesn't feel to be a man or a woman, need a certificate providing their intersexual status issued by a medical doctor that must be based on the so-called Chicago Consensus Conference 2005 on differences of sex development. Now, why do I tell you all this? What does that have to do with transgender? Now it comes, the legal practice. When this amendment became law at the end of 2018, trans lobbyist groups, including the Lesbian and Gay Association of Germany, advised trans people to use this law as a channel for change of sex entry, thereby circumventing the current Gender Recognition Act that requires a court procedure and two medical psychological opinions, as I mentioned earlier. The Ministry of the Interior was furious since it caused legal uncertainty. The civil registries didn't know what to do. Some accepted the applications of trans persons, the number is not known. Others canceled the new entry after double checking the presented certificate with the issuing medical doctor. So what do the courts say to this disaster? The Supreme Civil Court ruled, ruled on in April 2020, pretty recently, that civil registry law is applicable exclusively to intersex persons. The trans person who lost the case, however, has recently filed a complaint with the Federal Constitutional Court. The outcome of this complaint is not known yet. It may be that the Constitutional Court does not even accept this complaint for decision. However, it may also be that they accept the complaint for the decision and then file a decision. We might not know this before next year. Next one. The law, now a real law since a couple of weeks, law for the protection against conversion treatment. This was mentioned today by one of my co-speakers. What does a law regulate? Treatments that aim to change sexual orientation and gender identity of minors and handicapped adults. Target groups of the ban, Christian groups, medical doctors, psychologists, guardians. Exceptions to the prohibition of conversion treatment. Treatments of disorders in sexual preference, meaning fetishism, exhibitionism, pedophily, and surgery or hormone treatment that helps to express perceived gender identity. 
The background of this law is that the Federal Minister of Health is openly gay and wants to ban and punish religiously motivated conversion therapies of lesbians and gays. So far, so good. Trans lobby groups, however, cellotaped, as you say in Great Britain, gender identity on sexual orientation and the Minister of Health agreed without further debate. My assessment is the following to this law. Medical doctors and psychologists who prefer treating accompanying medical disorders after having diagnosed a patient with gender dysphoria instead of applying affirmative therapy, just get criminalized. Surgery and hormone treatment is not being defined as conversion therapy since it is based on the desire of the minor patient. Now my question is, what enables minors to assess consequences of surgery and hormone treatment better than those of so-called conversion therapy, which is mostly an intensive therapy. An open letter by a Red Femme group called Autonomous Working Group affiliated with the feminist organization Terre de Femme in Germany, two politicians of the German parliament commenting critically on the term gender identity in the bill and asked for its abolition, unfortunately did not have an impact on the legislative outcome since it has been issued too late. It, however, initiated a shitstorm by trans and queer communities against Terre de Femme as a whole. Next one, Protect the, uh, protection of minors against sex changing uh, surgery by the Federal Ministry of Justice. What does the law regulate. This is quite interesting. Protection of minors against, the law calls it, sex changing surgery. However, hormone treatment is not being prohibited. On the contrary, it is even recommended. Exceptions to the prohibition, risk of death or serious health risks of the minor patient or the minor who is 14 years of age at least desires cosmetic sex changing surgery if certain conditions have been met. That means approval by guardian and by the district court but without any medical or psychological opinion. The background of this bill is that there are no legal regulations on medical sex reassignment surgery for intersex children. Past and current practice in Germany has been criticized by the UN, by the EU Parliament and the Council of Europe for decades. Furthermore, medical sex changing surgery concerning trans kids has not been regulated so far by law either. My assessment is the following. Prohibi prohibiting medical sex reassignment surgery for intersex children is desirable. The same is true for medical sex changing surgery for trans kids. However, the disregards of hormone treatment for example, puberty blockers that leads to irrever irreversible consequences in most cases must be refused. The consequences are, for example, 
taking cross-sex hormones, infertility, suppression of homosexuality, and a bad impact upon brain development. Moreover, the ability of minors who are only 14 years old to consent into sex changing surgery is highly questionable. They are detransitioners, what about them? And only according to several studies, 12 to 27% of trans kids become transsexuals in adulthood. The rest gets back to its real sex. Finally, judges may be overwhelmed by the task setting the impact of sex changing surgery for a minor in light of its well-being without a professional medical psychological opinion. The current status is the following. The bill received a mixed echo by administrative bodies and professional associations. Trans lobby groups have criticized the bill aimed at regulating sex changing surgery for trans kids as deteriorating the situation of trans kids altogether. They deem it better to have an unregulated environment where they can do what they want. Currently, the Ministry of Justice is assessing the statements by the above mentioned bodies. After that procedure has been finished, the government will decide on the draft and forward it to the German Parliament for ordinary legislative procedure. And now an outlook. Let's reloaded is considering to draft a critical open letter on the issue of this last bill and forward it to politicians of Bundestag of the German parliament for consideration once the legislative procedure has been starting. Who is interested in this? Please watch Lutz Reloaded website for further information. Thanks a lot.